Hello everybody, this is Wayne from Wayne's Books. Today I wanted to profile a book I came across. Again, I actually had one in stock probably a couple years ago, and I haven't seen it since then. So it's not terribly common. It's a small press book called Heroes of Yesterday and Tomorrow. Fantasy and science fiction character illustrations suitable for use in role-playing. If you're like me, you have no talent for art whatsoever, yet on your character sheet you want decent looking character art, something that inspires you and, and uh, that you can show to other players and uh, basically improve your role playing altogether. And also if you're like me, a lot of times you, you know, photocopy out of um, a magazine or, or basically you know, st steal somebody's art. Well here you don't have to. Um, several artists that you maybe you don't recognize their names, but you may recognize the style and recognize where they um, where they did their art from. So, art direction by James B. King, who I haven't heard of, but but here we go. Um, so, contributors you have Rob Caswell, and I apologize if um, I mutilate anybody's name. So I'm just reading it like it looks to me. Uh, Rob Caswell. Uh, traveler players will recognize his art um, as well as people who played the 2380 role-playing game. Liz Danforth has been doing beautiful art for many years for fantasy and science fiction. She got her start, I believe, with Tunnels and Trolls. If you look at old Tunnels and Trolls book, it's all Liz Danforth art. Uh, David R. Dietrich, um, a lot of traveler art, and I've come to kind of surprised that actually um, he does a lot of art for fantasy and just all over. Um, Dan Ingwall, Rick Harris, that's another that you may recognize a few pieces of art uh, from uh, traveler items, uh, Twilight 2000, James B. King. Phil Morrissey, name sounds familiar, but I can't place it. Blair Reynolds, a great artist, did a lot of um, art for Traveler, but with the company that did a lot of licensed Traveler products, uh, Digest Group Publications, you'll see a lot of Blair Reynolds art, great stuff. Richard A. Tomasic, David L. Transu, and Michael Villardi. This book dates to 1991. And we start off with some David David R. Dietrich art, um, fantasy, a, a man in armor and chain. Richard A. Tomasic for this wizard. David R. Dietrich again for the archer. Here's Liz Danforth, uh, the knight. Dwarf is done by... Rick Harris, James B. King, Richard A. Tomasic, Dan Ingwall, Richard A. Tomasic, David Altransu for this woman, James B. King, Richard A. Tomasic. David L. Tran Transu for this knight. Dan Ingwall. James B. King did this barbarian. Richard A. Tomasic. James B. King. Richard A. Tomasic. Phil Morrissey. That's interesting. Blair Reynolds. I always recognize Blair Reynolds art by um, all the shading done with uh, dots. It's an interesting art style. Here's David R. Dietrich, woman in futuristic suit. Here's Liz Danforth for this thug. Rob Caswell. David R. Dietrich again. Kind of Star Trek-y looking. Blair Reynolds. 
Blair Reynolds again, David R. Dietrich, Phil Morrissey, Rick Harris, David R. Dietrich with kind of a steampunky looking uh, man in a Victorian helicopter suit, Blair Reynolds, Alien, Rob Caswell, Michael Velarde, David L. Transu, Blair Reynolds, Rob Caswell, definitely Blair Reynolds, look at that shading again. Blair Reynolds, David L. Transu, Blair Reynolds, more Star trek -y art by Rob Caswell, Phil Morrissey, Rob Caswell, Michael Velarde, uh, more Star Trek. Looks like an Aslan for Traveler done by Blair Reynolds. That's the end. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little look through of an art book. Again, this is Wayne from Wayne's Books. I'll have links to our site and links to this book on Amazon down below. Thank you very much.